Dry pipe valves are used in an area that might be subjected to freeze, where we have air that is filled into the system as opposed to water. The way the system would work is a sprinkler head would be discharged and we start to lose air pressure. On the bottom side of the clapper, we have got water pressure that as we lose air pressure, the water pressure will overcompensate, trip the clapper and will allow water to fill the system and travel to the sprinkler head and extinguish the fire. Today we're going to reset a Viking Model F1 dry plate valve. We're going to start by removing the valve from service by closing the control valve. and opening the main drain to take pressure off the bottom of the Viking control, uh, dry pipe valve. Then we're going to have to remove the faceplate cover to reset the latch. you take the faceplate cover off, be sure that all the pressure is off the inside of the valve so you don't have a, an issue. While removing the faceplate cover, try to avoid tearing the faceplate gasket, which is right here. Set to the side and do a visual inspection of the interior of the dry pipe valve, looking for debris or any issues on the seats. Clean thoroughly and then reset. And a reset. For this particular valve, you need the reset bar to latch the clapper in the closed position. Hold the clapper down. And with a quick force, push up. Is. and make sure the latch is over the clapper in the reset position. Once the clapper is shut, Replace the faceplate gas, the faceplate with the gasket. Tighten the bolts accordingly.
being sure to tighten across similar to a tire lug set to bring the face plate gasket in or the face plate in evenly. We will then put air on the system to verify that the valve is set up. going up about 35 pounds which should be sufficient for the water supply pressure Now we will open the bottom control valve to finish placing the valve back in service. Being sure to control the water pressure with the main drain. Pressure established, valve is going to be placed in the open position and the drive valve is now in service.